This is a tornado emergency for Little Snavy, Sandy Hook, and Isonville. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Jackson, Kentucky has issued a tornado warning for Elliott County, northeastern Morgan County, and southeast Kentucky, southeastern Rowan County, until 7 p.m. At 6.28 p.m., storm spotters and the National Weather Service Doppler radar were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Little Sandy, or seven miles southwest of Sandy Hook. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 60 miles per hour. The tornado will be near Culver and Bruin around 6.40 p.m. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7 p.m. for the following county, Morgan County, Kentucky. On March 2, 2012, an EF3 tornado touched down in Menifee County, Kentucky at 5.39 p.m. and then moved east, hitting the town of West Liberty with 140 mile per hour winds at 5.58 p.m. Two fatalities were reported in Menifee County and six people died in Morgan County. Several officials from Pikeville and Pike County traveled to West Liberty on Sunday afternoon to deliver tools and materials to assist in the cleanup and provide the crippled West Liberty Police Department with a vehicle. Uh, we brought down a vehicle to let West Liberty have, uh, have one of our pool vehicles. Uh, they, they lost a few during their uh, the disaster, obviously. And we, we want to get them as operational as quick as possible. Damn, thank you. Anytime, brother. Thank you, thank Anytime. You That's right, what brother. we're here for. Anytime. Anytime. That's what I was driving. What? He was using a, a personal vehicle with the windows busted out. Uh, you know, in a situation like this, you do what you got to do to stay operational. And that's basically what the chief was doing. He was just trying to stay up and running. Before returning to Pikeville, the group stood on a nearby hill and overlooked the devastated city of West Liberty. Thinking of additional ways the residents and officials of Pike and surrounding counties can help. These are resilient people. They're they're bent on on restoring their town back to the way that it is. But I can only imagine, you know, this being our community, the devastation that these folks have faced, and and uh, the spirits. I mean, they're in great spirits. Uh, you know, I told her that we would keep them in our prayers, and she broke. Uh, the clerk had a few tears in her eyes and really thanked our community. They. As for our business cards, and after this, uh, the initial shock is over with, they've asked to, uh, to get in contact with us to show their appreciation. And our position was, you know, we're not asking for appreciation. We understand the struggles more so now than ever before, looking at the devastation. I mean, Shannon, I can't explain. You know, one thing when you see things like this on, on the news uh, or CNN and, and you see a pocket here and a pocket here uh, there of, of a destruction, I mean, this is a town that's completely... Uh, just demolished. I mean, every structure you look at has got either windows or doors blown in or the total the, door, the total structure is lost. And the one thing that the, uh, uh, that the clerk said that really touched me was is that it's just not an outpour, uh, well, and, and from our community, but understand that they have no communication. So they didn't know what was being shown nationally. They didn't realize what kind of impact it had on the state and for everybody to show up and uh, to have the compassion that, you know, this nation, great nation, and and our communities have had, have shown them was just overwhelming to them. So, uh, I mean, it's it, it's very surreal when you still stand and look around it and say this could have been our community. And God, you know, God bless them and, and uh, God bless what we've been able to, to escape. But uh, we just need to keep these folks in our prayers and, and keep uh, pouring out all the, the uh, help that we possibly can because it's, I mean, when we're gone, many years of rebuilding is what it's going to take to get this community back in, in any kind of condition at all. For additional ways that you can help the residents of Morgan, Martin, Johnson, Lawrence, and McGoffin counties, stay tuned to the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting.